Hello Frog, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Redstone and the Frog. Today we're going to build a 3x3 piston door. This is my own design. But first, let's talk sizes. This door occupies, counting from the ground, like where you go in, 6 high, 8 wide and 40. In total, 10 high and 8 wide. And only one long, as you can see. No rest in the front and, well, this is for later. So first, let's talk materials and how to build the door. Then we'll build the door and then we'll make the activation system. We will see a few of them, even with a combination block. So let's go! These are the materials you will need for this farm. These nine blocks of iron are for the door, the actual door. You can use any block you wanted. And these are for the mechanism of the door. So I'll give you one second. Anyway, let's build it. As I said, this will be the point from where you go in. So we imagine we are at floor level. We will dig four blocks down and have one, two, three, four, five, six up and an eight long, like so. First, let's put the iron blocks for the door. You don't need iron blocks, but I like them. Now, pistons on the side, like so. So you can see a little bit better. They need to have a one gap in between. Now observer looking up. We need a temporary block over here. Like this. Now node block on top, node block on top. And glass. You don't really need glass, but this so the node blocks doesn't sound and if you run some redstone on top, you don't activate the door on accident. So yeah, glass is important. Now we put one block over there and one over there. These are building blocks and an observer looking up. Like so. Now three pistons, stick pistons, sorry, like this. And one, two, three, four, five redstone and oops. Like this. Now if we put an observer like this and a node block here, you will see how every block apart from the ones in the middle retracts and well activates. This is one of the ways to activate this door. You could I don't know and put an observer here. Excuse me, princess and do something along these lines. Now, from the bottom part. You have to pick one of these sides. As I started building this over here and I have this side empty, I will start over here. So, observer like so, pointing down, stick piston, with an observer pointing with the red dot inside the contraption. Now, under node block with an observer looking up. We will need a temporary block like that. Do you see? Like so. Now, this is the tricky part, kinda. Observer block, node block, observer, sticky piston. Now we go in the other direction. Observer. Repeater, one tick delay. Observer, looking at the repeater, like so. Observer, four ticks. And two sticky pistons, like this. This will look like this. I'll give you a second. We go over here. Block. Redstone. Observer, looking at this repeater, and up. And now we need a temporary block over here, oops, and in here a sticky piston, like so. And it is done. If we do this, it opens, and if we hit again, it closes. Pretty nice, isn't it? Now for the activation part, we can use node block and observer like this just in one side, but to be honest, this can be kind of difficult to trigger. So, 
what we can do is node block like so observer block node block observer observer and we break these ones block and three more redstone like that and this works and let's imagine you have something along these lines okay and maybe you have even another blood block over there to decorate the thing and you go in and it opens also once you have the door completed as you can see you have some gaps that you can totally fill up and if you close the door from the other side you have something along these lines which is totally fine okay i mean if you want to use a lever to activate the door you need to be careful because as you can see it can break pretty easily so what you need to do is to open the door put a couple blocks with uh, two red on top and a lever and activate the lever that way these pistons are extended all the time and once you open it it opens without any hiccups <laughs> now let's make another activation system shall we we can do it like so dropper on the door with a button on this side and I think this looks cool I mean it's pretty easy to integrate into your field observer pointing into the dropper with a block now not block here observer a sticky piston observer pointing like so the red dot inside the farm and a repeater to one tick and if we press the dropper like so we can see how the sticky piston go up activates this rest online and closes and opens pretty cool what i really like about this little setup over here i'll give you a second to look from this side and this side it's that you can even put your node block like so and then the block and it works pretty much the same you need to hit it twice to activate that fills the gap in over here this 8 block that we had to count and if we want to make a little combination lock we can so let's go this is the most simple combination lock you can make and as you can see it's pretty simple we will build it in a second and this is the other one pretty simple too let's go so first we put a block over here with an observer with the dot pointing into this <laughs> we have activated the door now we need to put the dropper looking at the face of the observer a t-shape like this starting from the observer with one block over here and the other here like the typical item shorter to be honest and now we put resting torch over here repeater two rest and dust comparator and our hopper pointing into the drop this hopper needs to have 18 rest and dust and four more separate it and now we put our button and unless the dropper has a rest and dust or I mean any item you have when we click it the rest on dust or the item will go in here this observer will detect it and activate the door let's see if we can so there is so but there is another way to do this again we need a dropper pointing inside but now we will have four out and three in and a rest and torch over there and now we will place the hopper over here with the items so and now comparator two rest and dust one repeater and a rest and dust over here right now the rest and strength can't reach this repeater but if we put 
the rest on dust over here. It glitches, and it's pretty much the same. If we were to take out all these items, and we were to use an anvil, and change the name to... I don't know, subscribe maybe? No, 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 no. Even better. The game, like so. And we put 18 and then for mile like see if we put maybe a stun button and we click it it doesn't work remember to fill all these slots because if we do something like this and we use a button it will actually work because the button will go in here and we will get the game back but we don't want that what we want is for this to function only with a redstone dust called game or I mean sorry I took one out with a redstone dust called game and even if we use you see it's the same name an anvil with the same name it won't work we need a redstone dust called the game you see Pretty easy. Anyway, frogs, this will be everything for today's episode. Hope you like it. Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And see you next one. See ya!